Um, I've been to this reading many times. I live just across the bridge in Brooklyn, so I've been to this reading many times and, it, and seen many of my heroes on this stage and at this podium. So it's a, just an absolute joy to be here. Um, thank you all for coming. Uh, this is a poem, this is a love poem for my wife. Um, it happens to be set at, at the dump, at, the, at a landfill, so um, not, not really like the roses and hearts kind of love poem. Mattress. We wrapped it in plastic and strapped it with duct tape. We wrestled it out to the curb. Where dusted with snow, it slumped like a body. The garbage men fed through the maw of a truck that they drove out the tunnel to Jersey, to the dump where a thousand gulls keened. Hovering over that map of old stains where we dreamt and read and made love, where we sweated out fevers and fought and gave up and once gazed at our blinking three-day-old babies, never thinking it would end full of maggots and fleas, full of suckling rats and blind moles, or whatever out there sleeps where we slept as it sloughs its guts into the dirt. Um, this, is a, this is a poem for uh, a beloved teacher of mine, Deborah Diggs, who I wish very much, it's, a, it's in memory of Deborah, and I, I wish very much she was here tonight. Um, the only thing you need to know, it's always nice when there's a fancy gloss, um, the only fancy gloss is that in Ovid, um, Philomel and Procne, Procne's saved when she's turned into a bird. Uh, Vesper Sparrow. All I can do to keep from believing where in truth your last steps led is think of the story you told us of Procne and how she was saved by the merciful gods. My vision of you on the shimmering ledge turning in midair to a sparrow, your voice to its sweet vesper call, as you left the meaningless body below you, falling its meaningless fall. Um, this poem is, uh, this one's about my grandmother and it has the rather unimaginative title, My Grandmother. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so this is for Elizabeth Peacock Miller, whose daughter is in the house tonight. Um, and the title goes right into the, into the poem. My grandmother squints at the attendant with his white foam tray and waves him off like a starlet as she tells me, someday you'll understand, darling. Everyone will just vanish. Blue smoke exploding around her head when she laughs then stares at her fingers in silence, flicking the ash. And I'm gonna end with a, a really short poem. Uh, I think like a lot of people, uh, you know, the violence around the world this week's been on my mind. So this is a, this is a sort of heathen's prayer, um, an attempt to kind of recover the idea of heaven. So um, thank, I'm gonna thank you all now. Just thank you very much for listening. It, it's short, so it'll go by really fast. <laughs> Don't blink or you'll miss it. Heaven. It will be the past, and we'll live there together. Not as it was to live, but as it is remembered. It will be the past. We'll all go back together. Everyone we ever loved and lost and must remember. It will be the past, and it will last forever. Thank you so much.